Alrighty, welcome back, or welcome to our blending shader, shader labs. What we're going to be looking at probably needs a little bit of explanation for some of you that are either beginning to work with uh, Unity, Unreal, or DirectX, or OpenGL, or Got It. We're going to be working in Unity, though, and with Unity standard shader mainly, mainly. And why? <laughs> why? What is a blending shader? Okay. A blending shader, in this in this case, I'm taking a mask and I'm blending three textures in this case. Uh, the rock the rock the path itself, the grass, and the dirt, just as an example. And I'm using a mask to do, to do that in the shader. And I have my mask itself is an atlas, but each of these shade, each of these textures that you actually see are not atlas. What's the big deal about that? Well, imagine having five different path types. Each one of those path types to get this resolution, you need them to be 20 by 48 by 20 by 48, um, or 2048 by 2048, or about uh, seven megs un uncompressed, five to seven megs uncompressed. In this case, our mask though is only about a meg and a half uncompressed. Since we are, we're only atlasing it, we can use the same, we, we're using the same texture again on this material. So this is the exact same grass. And if you saw the dirt, well, let's just put some dirt up here somewhere. And that dirt is the same dirt that is right here, etc. So we save memory, actually. And we don't have to worry about all these crazy atlases all over the place. We only have to worry about one. We, if we want to make this sand, we simply add the sand texture and it will create the atlas for us automatically. That's one of the benefits of blending, but it's not the only benefit of blending. Let's take another look real fast before we get started. I'm going to add some water here. We will be doing, I will be, I am writing this tutorial also on the voxel in the hexagonal, but this is all set up. In this case, although this is pixel, it can support higher resolution of images, and this is a, a animated blended texture. So we have the water, the dirt, the grass. Once again, like before, it's on a different kind of atlas. provides a nice slow animation for us, but we're saving space and we're also increasing speed. So if you're doing a Heroes of Might and Magic clone or a game like Heroes of Might and Magic, Warcraft 3, uh, Halo, uh, Spartan Strike or Spartan Assault, um, XCOM, you really need to learn how to blend textures and animate those blended textures and even animate the normals where one example we're going to do actually we're going to animate the normals and that allows us to put more stuff or use have more stuff in our game without drastically increasing our RAM. now don't get me wrong sometimes we can do it incorrectly and we will drastically increase our round worse than if we had individual atlases all over the place. But this is really much faster. We only have to create one atlas instead of five or 10 or 15. And that allows us to concentrate on a game instead of on our textures. So your graphics person can only create the grass in the dirt, in the water, and the mask will take care of the rest in the bl blending shader. 
So let's get going. One more example I want to show you first. Hold on, let me jump over to another scene here. Yeah, save that. I don't think I closed anything. In this case, we're actually going to darken using a gradient all the way around based on the alpha of our mask. We're actually going to darken and add a 3D look without even using normals or a height map. So with normals and a height map, this will look awesome if you're just doing a top-down kind of game. So let's get going. Hope to see you in the rest of the tutorial.